Okay, well, welcome back. This should be level seven, the library for Halo 1. I do that intro every time. So, what we're doing is we are following a gentleman named 343 Guilty Spark or the Monitor. Like I said, we had that whole instance with the flood in the other level. And now this is where it goes a little more in depth, and I'm going to try and stay on topic to each thing. Really quickly, the say, we're going to start off on something called the index, and I will go through the story hopefully. A bit smoother because we're gonna have a lot of time on this level again like I said in the last level uh, or at the end of the last video it's quite a long video or episode episode level there we go and that's what I call a cheese puff by the way or your flood spore pod I don't know the actual term that's what I call it in my head is a cheese puff because it's a giant cheese puff that explodes with little spores in it uh, and that's what I always called it as a little kid so little kid again being five is when I started playing this um, so, the first thing, what we saw at the beginning, or we'll go... I said I'd start off on the index, I'm already breaking my rule. Quickly, that little yellow thing that was around us at the beginning of the game, that was us just being teleported in here, that's all. Alright, number one, the index. That thing that was floating in the middle of the room at the beginning of the other cinematic, uh, at the start of, or at the end of the last video, at the start of this one. I didn't play it over, so if you wanted to see it, you're going to see it later anyway, but you're also going to have it now, so... Sorry, I thought I heard something. Uh, it wasn't actually anything. I don't know why I'm using the gun. So, what the index is. The index is what allows us to activate this ring, and only this ring. So, this is Installation 04, like said. That is 343 Guilty Spark Monitor of Installation 04. What we're gonna do is grab this index because what the monitor is concerned about is activating the ring. Because he wants to, his first job, and the reason, oh! didn't look that he had a shack. I don't have any audio, like I said. So, we're, this is going to happen a lot. Hopefully, I'm going to try and transition later as it goes on, if I don't have anything to talk about, just to go back to that spot. Because it will be easier for all of us by that point. And also, I, I wasn't even paying attention. I was trying to focus more on the story. But the index. The index is meant to activate the ring. What the monitor wants to do, because his job and what he's told, you know, like, what his orders work because there's no forerunner the tell him money orders these are all uh situations essentially so if this happens to this if that happens to this his job right now is to have someone activate the rings uh so or activate the ring this one because there's no need to activate the other ones to essentially get rid of the flood it's a first alternative so that it doesn't spread and that we just activate it and kind of get rid of everything within its radius because the one ring doesn't get the whole galaxy it gets quite a large area i think it's two no i don't remember what the radius is of the rings uh essentially kill zone i know where one of the arc is i know how far that is away from the center of the galaxy so but besides that we're just trying to activate the ring the index what it's meant to do like i said activate the ring it can only work on Installation 04, and even if, say, uh, there was an exact copy of this ring, for whatever reason, only that one index can activate this ring. You can say, say if you, if you got the index in your back pocket at home and you're in other pair of pants, it's still, you can make a new one. It has to be fabricated, apparently, and it takes quite a while, or it will take some time, but this is the only one, and it would take some time to get the other one, which means of urgency, which is why the rings are around, would be your go-to option, is to, of course, have the index, and you can use it. And again, it can only be used on, even if there was a copy of this ring, on that ring. There's no extra index that's just going to be built with it. It takes time to fabricate and everything, so. Oh, and now I got my shotgun, which should hopefully be of some help. The ones who usually kill you in this one, uh, at least level for me. Random grenades like that, or guys with shotguns, because they are the worst. But that's really what all the index is, and it's very important and can only be used by humans. That's why the monitor needs us to go to, essentially, what you'll see in two seconds, uh, is the elevator, which it should be right up there. There's a lift or a platform. There it is. That comes all the way down, and it lets you grab the index, because the index is kind of just floating there in space. Which you'll see, it's right there. There's the index. I can zoom in on it. There we go. 
So that's all we're just trying to do. That's why we're here in the library. What the monitor is, like I said, his job is to kind of just hurry this process along and not really hurry it, just make sure it's done. Because again, he's the whole reason this, or that's his job. That's just his job. And that's his only purpose, essentially, is to make sure that he helps out humans to do their task as well and find out what they're meant to do. Because humans, we don't know it. There's a whole reason, like I said, why we're, we are the chosen species to kind of do this, but that's not really talked about in this halo. So again, we'll hold off for that for now. I'm just making sure there's no other full forms around. I don't care about these little spore pods because here he comes. Boop. And then there should be another one. There you go. There are a few guys. Just gotta clear out this section. Head in here. And this is essentially the level, by the way. It's just clearing out areas and areas of flood, which is why this level goes on so long. I think it's some people's favorites. However, it can be kind of tedious, constantly doing this. And then these spore pods just everywhere. They just waddle at you like some obese child trying to blow up, apparently. Not, you know, most obese children try not to blow up. However, these, these children, yes, they are the worst. And then you get random explosions like that because there's a frag grenade on the ground. And when the cheese puffs blow up, the grenades blow up if they're close. It, you can do the same thing if there's a frag on the ground and you toss another frag next to it. It will light that frag and you'll get a chain reaction, which is kind of cool. There's another one. He's always got to keep out behind you because sometimes if you don't clear out an area, they can still be spawning and they'll just come after you. But all right. So I guess my next topic will be more to what the library is and why this exists. This, as the name entail, like entails, uh, it's meant as a place for knowledge and research, especially that of the species. Again, that's what the forerunners were tasked with is taking care of the universe and in this case with putting a ring what else are you going to put on the ring besides what you're supposed to do on it or what it's meant for what it's meant for again just taking care of the universe and essentially wiping out all life of the universe at the same rate um geez is he gone all right so these doors are always closed and you have to kind of he's gonna say i'll be back the security door yeah has sealed so he's gonna go off and then I have to essentially defend the zone and wait for him to come back, which is always a pain because here they come. Oh, well, no, this one's just, oh. Oh no, never mind. that's in the next door. So there are multiple of those doors. Please follow closely. Yeah, he's just telling me to keep going with him. But for the library, let, let me try and get back to that instead of just randomly talking about what's going on. Um, the library is here for knowledge. It's meant for the species and everything. and why the flutter here as well is because it is kind of like a essentially a large large it's a library it has all the knowledge on the species that's it. as simple as i can say it it has knowledge on additional information as well which the person who was in charge of all of this her name was the librarian she was the forerunner who was in charge of keeping all the knowledge as well she was the one who worked with the builders and preserving all these things and everything like that. All right, so let's see here. There are more cheese puffs. I always go for them because they explode and, you know, kill everything inside, hopefully. There we go. Then you have all these spores. Only the crap there we go. Oh, I forgot all about my flashlight. All right, there we go. And now here, so you're gonna see these guys actually pop up a lot. Glass, you can break it, but here they come. And yeah, must not, they will consume all. I, I probably bring some attention to the monitor as we go throughout this level, just because he does bring up some information like how they will consume all. Of course, you don't know that at the, the time of playing this until like you know, I said it earlier, but like you said, they will consume all, they will spread throughout the galaxy. Checkpoints repeatedly, and here they come. Cheese puff. Oy. Uh, waves after waves of these guys, it does get tiresome, like I said. And I'm going to try and... Yeah, there will be some dead points, where I'm just going to be killing way too many of these things. 
and also running out of ammo. Oop, shotgun. I prioritize those. Goodness. Also, try and get your shield up, like I said earlier. Woo! Alright, when your shield is down, these guys just eat your health quickly. Especially if you're in, like, a group of them. Luckily, the shotgun has some range in Never mind, as I try to shoot someone point blank, didn't even do anything. Alright, it does have range in God. This happens on every straightaway. On easier difficulties, of course, you can sprint right through it. Heroic, you probably could if I didn't want to run the risk of dying and then having to repeat this scene for the video. And that's a, yeah, he had a shotgun. Or a magnum, one of the two. Whoop. I didn't hear it. Again, I can't hear these shots. And there goes my health. So, I'm probably not going to test it out. Just because, but here. They'll pop on your shield and just pop them down. That's why, again, earlier, the humans would instantly go because they didn't have any shield. And, all right. and we'll head out. Let's see where we're going. So, uh, I had to pause there for a second. I had to go check if there was any noise again. Um, one thing with this level, it is one of the most repetitive, and I would say not many people's favorite level. I think it is one of the least popular levels. Not, I wouldn't say it's a confusing layout. It's just corridor after corridor after corridor. It's just kind of tedious because you're running. Oh, see, you're just running and fighting flood, and that's all we're going to fight on this level is flood. And they're all forms. Uh, it should be all the forms they have in Halo 1, and there should be nothing additional. Just, again, fighting them constantly. Uh, a few things in this level. The re Oop, hold up. There we go. Alright, a few things that you'll see in this level, those blue screens, uh, they're never really told. Oh, there was a noise, okay. Uh, the blue, okay, it was something. People were taking down a ladder. Uh, research facilities are most impressive, perhaps you will have time to see them later. Yeah, so, this, again, facility was used partially for research as well. Uh, oh, was that? What was it, oh, yeah, the blue monitors, what you see on the screens here, uh, it, they're supposed to be, or at least what they're rumored to be, is that they're ways to access the data archive of the- Oh, God. <laughs> Just so the librarian, all her information is stored here. Goodness. All right, let's see if I can make it through this hell really quickly. It happens every time. All right, there we go. I made it through. This is the first level, and we're going to the second floor. All right. But uh, those blue monitors are meant to access information that the library holds and that what the librarian archived. And thousands upon thousands of data sheets are essentially here. Uh, and just on everything, pretty much that the forerunners know. And a lot more, because it's essentially think super, super advanced race that no one else can even come close to as of right now. All right, there we go. And here they all explode means I don't care all right so we're on the second floor uh, there is some there's a little side story here there are the Sentinels they're gonna come and help me out by the way they are oh I could talk about them didn't even think about them uh, so we'll do the Sentinels first Sentinels are the caretakers as well of the rings they are so they're a builder in a way but they also some blood here uh, they are also the defenders so say if someone were to attack the ring randomly they attack and like so if say if a covenant ship opened fire on the ring for whatever reason uh the the yeah geez, the sentinels would start attacking and they kind of look like uh, if you there's a halo wars 2 cinematic that reminds me completely of the matrix it's like the sentinels from the matrix they kind of just swarm and destroy whatever's in their way and they don't mind, of course, because the robots, they just rebuild. Uh, they just essentially destroy themselves while doing it. Goodness, and this is how this goes for the next two levels. Or Yeah, no, this, every ever, yeah, every floor on this level is like this. You have a point where you need to defend and just keep going because the f monitor Fs off for a good 30 minutes. And then he comes back and he's like, oh. I am a genius, and that's it. As you see, now the door is open, but I just killed, I don't know how many enemies, probably, it doesn't look like much, but that's because they also flew everywhere, and most of them were cheese pops. 
Ah, all right, here goes more flood. Oh no! All right, so Sentinels and their beam. Uh, it is a weapon, but not in this Halo. Actually, you do get it in Halo 2. It's available. It comes in blue and in orange. You can pick them both up. I don't remember the difference. I don't know if one's better than the other. I can't remember. Again, that's not really in this Halo, so it's not of super importance to me as of right now. But, all right, so weapons managed to flood only for a short time. Yeah, so that's why, again, they might destroy everything. However, they're not good against the flood just because the flood spreads so quickly. If there was no, like, organisms, they would be fine. However, there's humans and all the races of the Covenant here that are now essentially helping this thing spread like wildfire. All right, please don't tell me one of these guys has the rocket launcher. There's on one of the levels. Yep, he does. All right. One of them has a rocket launcher, which is sometimes can whack you, especially if you don't notice where he was. Oh, God. I'm out of ammo on my shotgun already. I'll just take that for now and wait until I find another shotgun. Okay. And another door. Hello. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, this one's going to prop open. He's going to go away. Flood's going to drop down from over here, which I think they just drop off from that balcony above where he goes exactly. Or, yep, no, there we go. And they sh some should jump out that little door. Yee, just fall down. All right, kind of. Oh, they do jump into you. There we go. I was going to see if I can group them up really quickly. And if you have co-op, you can uh, boost the door really quickly if you're going for a speed run for whatever reason. There's an achievement for this game beating it with, or beating this level within 30 minutes. So, but there's actually a little side story here. Uh, I don't remember the name of the character actually. So there's another human that the monitor grabs before us. If you read the second book called The Flood, uh, which explains kind of the flood, it's essentially Halo 1 but it's more towards the essence of like a little bit of background and explains what the layout is and the technical terms for a few things like those over there, the blue screens, I just call them monitors or I don't, it, it just, data archives is what I should probably say more. Right, there you go, corpse launch, it's fine. There's no gun here, hello? Do I have another gun? Plasma pistol, it's great. Never use this thing ever. Because also, I'm really bad with it in Halo 1. Ah, there's a shotgun. We have to go down, essentially, now. And, ooh, cheese puff. Hello. All right. But there is a story. There's a... So the monitor grabbed us, Master Chief, to go grab the index and do this for him and, you know, activate the installation. However, there was someone before us that he grabbed. He's a Marine, I don't remember his name. Uh, I think it was like, I don't remember. It starts with an M, but it wasn't Mendoza, which I was hoping would have been Mendoza from, uh, you would know that name from the cinematic earlier uh, when the Marines were attacked with Captain Keys. But I'm pretty sure it's not him. There is a Marine though. He was pulled here by the monitor as well to kind of do this and see how far he can get. He tried to get the index. That's the whole point however he doesn't make it but he, there are rumors there's no confirmation of which body there are a few marine bodies here in the installation he is rumored to have gotten the farthest besides chief of course however he gets there is a body there are two or three most people assume it's the latter one there's a body that is fairly far in the game you pass it by later and i will point to it probably and bring it back up then he is all the way pretty much on the last floor or almost at the end and for a marine without power armor so what i'm wearing the mjolnir armor or having anything else he's just a normal marine who just slugs it out through floor after floor and gets all the way up there to eventually where he actually does die because the flood catches up to him he's not able to hold him off anymore and he just gets brutally murdered by the flood and the reason why his body is still around actually is because they say it was so beaten up and mangled by the flood by the end that uh, they couldn't even use it as a flood form. So that's why you can still find his body or the multiple human bodies. And there's like two or three in this level that are supposed to, one could be him. Don't know which one. 
but it's supposed to be here. All right, where'd that shotgun go? I need the ammo. Unless I picked it up. I think I did. God dang it. I'm so tired of wave after wave. Ugh. Take that. I'm just going. I'm tired of him. Oh, I missed him. Yep. He dropped soon. These guys are faster than me too, so I sometimes have to turn around and still fight him. And there should be... There's one with a rocket down there. There he is. Shot his own guys. That's where I try and take him out first, of course. Woo! Alright. Should be a marine around here. No, no. Yeah, so there is a flood form down there. That wasn't the one I killed. He's always that flood form's always there. But some people thought that was him until you saw that or that think in the book it reads, like I said, his body was too beaten up. To be a flood form and that's a flood form so that was just maybe one of the ones that he had killed on his way here that the body still remained and that they left the body there god i am hating this right now it's running this should be the end of floor two like i said tedious and you'll find this layout to be consistent throughout them at this end point where as i walk past it yep here come more flood let's just get on this and it will start rising and then we can leave them behind Hopefully he can't jump up here. You yeah, know, he's, oh, yep, he is gonna jump. And then the other cheese puffs fell down. All right, here we go. so. Yep, but I don't want the ride, the elevator. Maybe just keep going. This should be floor level three. Oh, okay, there we go. It was still in the same way. Level three, there's nothing different. They do feel a little bit shorter as time goes on. Eh, hmm. Floor four is the shortest, I think, by far. Easily, because it doesn't seem like it takes too long. Floor two and two isn't bad. Hmm. I don't know which I'd say. I think floor three is the worst for me. I do not like it because it's just these corridors, like earlier, and going down below. So just constantly going down and going down. I think constantly being two times, maybe. It just feels a little bit longer for whatever reason. And also, floods spawn behind you in these corridors. So after you go past and kill everything, all of a sudden you find them behind you again. That grenade wasn't going to make it anywhere. Don't know why I did that. There we go. Oh, at least he didn't have a shotgun or I was going to die. Oh, goodness, so many of them. I do use a lot of shotgun rounds here. Whoop. There we go. And the second I go back here, once I come out, cheese puffs spawn behind me. At least I meet my sentinel buddies out here, so they should yep, already start attacking right away. One thing I try to do to make this go quicker is the second I get out here, run. Don't wait. Let's keep going. Don't think... No, yeah, I was going to say, this is not the end of the third. What is annoying here is another door. Hold your position until the monitor returns, and i got to fight off all this flood, and I'm low on grenades again. This is not helpful. At least there should be... Yep, there's health over here if I need it. Desperately need it. Don't want to stand on it, though, or then I'm going to be screwed. Luckily, cheese puffs group up, and then we can just pop them. It's always good, like, uh, in some games, I think, uh, Gears... I forgot the name of those characters. Uh, the ones that crawl on the ground and explode. I can't remember their names. Gears of War, same thing. At least with grouping or in any game that has something that explodes that runs at you and if you can group them up all right there we go follow the monitor to the index floor three uh this is where you're going to notice actually and there's a terminal by the way i'm not going to run over there how you get over there is you got to jump along the side or yeah there's for that one and there's also a skull at one point there too let's go shotgun thank you for the ammo Whoop. all right and there's a few things that uh, the flood entail as well. So, like I said, it's a single. It's not a single mind. It. I'm pretty sure. All right. This is where now that the flood have been introduced, I'm gonna have to go and do some more research again back into the flood, because I don't fully remember exactly all the forms and what there is. There are thousands. However, we don't see all of them, or in any Halo. We get a few more forms in Halo Three. And then in Halo 2, making sure there is one new character introduced that's a Flood. Uh, 
and I guess he's a form, but he's the only one as far as, as far as I'm aware. He should be the only one. Because also I got to do more research back into him as well. He's not important until Halo 2. Oh no, he's not. Yeah, he's introduced in 2. Okay, I was making sure. I was thinking for some reason I said he's only introduced in 3, but it's 2 that he's introduced in. He's quite important in 2. He's important in all of them, actually, because he is flood. All right. The installation was specifically built to, uh, yep, like I said earlier, study and contain the flood. Uh, and this was pretty much where that race was. There's a few other spots uh, that's brought up in Halo 2. There are other installations that have the flood species in it. Normally, though, the flood are stored in installations. They're not on a planet or anything because they can be advanced enough to where, again, they can travel the galaxy and stuff like that. That's how they became such uh, an issue. It's because they could travel the galaxy. All right, oh, God. here we go again. I'm just gonna keep running. It's the easiest way to do this level. There we go. Don't leave me. Don't leave. Open the door. Oh, come on. Damn it. All right, yeah, he goes to close that door. The best way to do this room is by being a wimp and staying in this corner and just not moving. It, it will take a few minutes, so this is where we'll talk. Uh, yeah, you'll see on my uh, heartbeat monitor there, or my motion sensor, not heartbeat monitor. It's a motion sensor. Uh, there's flood around this corner. <laughs> it's not good, and then they're within 15 meters, so even closer than comfortable. But one thing we have with uh, what I was saying earlier, there are a few things that the flood can do so they can collect data based off of a few things not only accessing terminals and stuff like that technology uh through usually the higher up forms not the combat forms like i'm fighting right now but uh there's also that they can kind of we'll see this in this halo later as well uh, they can collect information from people's like minds. You can pull it out. Like if you've ever seen uh, the movie Starship Troopers, not a full spoiler, but there is a creature at the end of that movie that kind of does this as well. But hopefully, so if you, if you want to watch that movie, if you've never seen it and it's, it's a spoiler, jump five minutes from now or something comfortable. Um, there is a creature at the end of that movie that essentially pulls out the brains of a human <laughs> and collects that information it has that knowledge so one thing that they can do is pull that information by using this kind of information blob is what I call it oh goodness there's so many Good. well timed grenade I'm gonna boast about myself that was floor three so let's go up to the final floor should be the final floor pretty sure fourth floor is final floor oh, keep going, keep going. there you go keep running thank god we're a Spartan so the reason why that, so, again, I'm trying to stay more on track to my thoughts and not just keep jumping around. There is no list. I don't have a list. It's just kind of what I think is important to the story. But it, the reason why it's so detrimental that the Flood can collect all this information is that then they have information of every species. They have information of known history, fourth floor, tools, guns, keys to the super weapons. Yep. So this is the final floor. This is a super weapon. Let's go. Um, so one thing that, say, because in the human story, like I said, oh, God, here we go. Grenades. Frag grenades, specifically. All right, let's get out of here. Go this way. I don't think I ran past the body yet. Uh, hopefully I didn't. But I think I ran past the marine body. Okay. Um... God, see, like I said, they follow from behind you. It's even worse. All right. Just run and gun, run and gun. Unless there's a cheese puff, then turn around, shoot, and run away. <laughs> ah, this is the room. Yep, here he should be. I'm pretty sure. Nope. Where is he? There's a flood form there. There should be a human body somewhere nearby. Some people said that was him, but again, in the book, I'm pretty sure in the book, they said that he doesn't turn into a flood because the body was so mangled. It might be right after this room. It now I can't remember where his body is. Jeez. Here we go. Nope. Get away from me. 
Hello, hello, hello. Bump, bump, bump. I'm pretty sure, so... No, that is a flood. I thought it was in old graphics for a second. But there should be a human body on the fourth floor. Or it was maybe on the third floor. Maybe I missed his body. I It was one of the third or fourth floor. I'm pretty sure where his body is. And that's how you can tell, like... Hey, even as a Marine, without the Mjolnir armor, without all the injections and everything, he made it this far, which is incredibly impressive, considering, like, he, and that's just a normal flood form, uh, that he made it this far, and how all these other, you know, humans, like, all these combat forms I'm killing were infected right away, and you see it in Halo 3, actually, if a flood sport basically jumps on a Marine, and a bunch of them get on him, he's dead. He's infected. It's over. All right. This is actually the last door beyond this door. Oh God, I do have to wipe these guys out, preferably, before going on. There are nothing at the end of these usually. They are just open sections that you can kind of go down and use. And you can get lost. It is a library. That is what you can get lost in a library. Really. But no, uh, it's meant to be like you can still like walk around, explore a bit. Halo 1 gave you that option. Uh, but also to see like... It's not a linear map. You can go around and just see kind of why this, you know, like, it gives a bit more depth, I'm going to say. It, it doesn't seem like, oh, the door ends there and there's a wall. It lets me back up. I'm fighting all these creatures, so I do have some space to work with at least. Uh, and then also it shows that there's still more to the, <laughs> the game besides just, jeez, oh no. <laughs> Don't kill me. Random frag explosions. Uh... But there's still more to the game besides just that, like, my linear movements in this game running around. That's what I think Halo 1 did the best, by far. It wasn't linear whatsoever, there's nothing... I, I mean, they're, again, very linear in the sense, like, this level, but you can still, at times, explore and enjoy the game. Like, in the second level Halo, uh, it's called Halo, it's the second level of this game. Uh, you can explore a little bit. It's an island, but there's no set route. There are areas you need to go to. Uh, however, you can go all the way around. You can travel a bit. Jesus, here they come. All right. That guy's going to get back up. I know that. There we go. Now he shouldn't. This is the final room. I just like clearing it out a bit if I can. You can just run to the elevator uh, to like where you have to go, actually. And it will end this or we'll start the cinematic and then that's the end of the level. However, I like eliminating everything. And if you play it on a, oh, Jesus, here we go. But they do keep coming. It's actually easier just to run sometimes. Like I've been doing this whole level. Oh God, stay back, especially you. There we go, come on, come on, finish it. There we go, all right. So that was the end. All of that to go four tiers to get, there's the, uh, not the cinematic, the uh, terminal. It was glowing in that cinematic there. Just elevator lowers all those floors. They couldn't make it easy and just leave it on the first floor. So we're going to go all the way down. And now there should be just a nice platform that lets me grab the index. And then it's going to close on itself. And now I should be able to pull out the index. There you go. It's like a little storage container for it. That's what activates the giant super weapon. And then he can pull it. So protocol requires that he transports it so that if, say, Chief were to get infected for whatever reason, which he never will, to go and grab the, uh, to, just so that it doesn't fall into the Flood's hands. So that they can't, you know, have a human form and activate the ring. I don't know if that's true entirely. I don't know if they could do that. I don't think so. I don't think you could have a Flood infected body and use it to activate the index. And, uh, if that is true, then yes, yeah, screwed. Second part, besides the start of this level, two betrayals, it's essentially the assault on the control room level five run backwards with a few different things, of course, tossed into it. Here we go, we're at the control room. Something wrong? Nope. Chief's looking for Cortana, by the way. If you remember, we left Cortana in the control room. Well, I, I'm going to watch the cinematics out 
So that, of course, next. Yep, this is where his endeavor ends because only humans can activate it. The uh, reclaimers. This is the room to activate the ring, by the way. So there are two ways to activate rings. Not only activating it in the room, like that, and then you have to actually activate it, or there's a place called the Ark, which we don't find about until Halo 2, at the end of 2, but we actually find it in 3. Uh, that you can activate all the rings from. A little bit of a spoiler, but nonetheless. Cortana stopped anyone from accessing the ring. Twelve hours is a long time for an AI, by the way. She's quite mad. This is the only time they curse. One of the only times they curse in Halo. Just a little thrown in thing there, because they don't later. That's why the game goes from M to T. You mean this? A construct in the core? That is absolutely unacceptable. Sod off. Also saying sod off. Most people don't say that. Sure At least in, idea? you know, the States. How, how dare you? All you can do is float and spot. I, I do know all the cinematics, by the way, by voice, so like... Enough. There's one of Chief's only lines, along with this. The flood is As I say that, this is probably his longest speaking point in the entire game. You have no that sentence. How this, ring works, do you? Why the built it? Halo this is where we find out what the ring actually does. Cortana explains it a bit more. Starve them to death. Essentially, you kill off everything. This is where Chief finds out about it because he didn't know that. Cortana's in the ring and this is how she finds out about everything. But we had to go rushing to go find Captain Keys, which we also dropped because this became much more important. There we go. Maximum radius of 25,000 light years per ring. I forgot about that earlier. This galaxy will be quite devoid of life, or at least any life with sufficient biomass. And there you go. So that's the point of the rings. Oh, his face, by the way, that icon, his eye on the monitor, that is the symbol for Reclaimer, if I'm not mistaken. It should be the symbol for Reclaimer. And why the Oracle is confused is because, and she's detecting movement, is because he, the reclaimers are supposed to know that, hey, that's why the rings are made, and that's why he's confused. He's like, hey, you've been following the orders of the letter. You didn't question anything. However, Chief didn't know, so that was the issue. And now we gotta get out of here. If you are unwilling to help, I will simply find another. Still, I must have the index. Give your construct to me, or I will be forced to take it from you. That's not going. It's not gonna happen. You're not getting Cortana. I'm getting out of here. Save his head to dispose of the rest. I do know all the cinematics of every line of every cinematic in Halo. It's really bad. But there we go. That's the intro of Two Betrayals. Uh, question why I'm doing it like this. It's just easier so I can keep continuing my sentences as we go on instead of just ending at the end because I don't time anything well. However, I do hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the library, even though that's a long level. I've been recording 42 minutes, so probably around 38 just for the level maybe 36 it's the longest level in the game the rest are kind of short and eh. two betrayals is decently long actually so this is the next to last on how length is i'm gonna say or at least feels this might take 45 either way i hope you enjoyed hope you enjoyed all the information as well for all of these levels um and we're gonna see two betrayals is essentially us getting out of here and trying to make sure that we can then take the next steps on what we need to do on this ring because we are still stuck here by the way that and there's like that whole beginning that was never talked about because we've just had problem after problem after problem but like i said i hope you enjoy it and i'll see you all in the next one